Brittany and today I have a quick show and tell for you guys. So today's wig review is brought to you by Glamourtress.com and the wig I'm going to be reviewing for you guys is a fairly new wig from Altre. I have Altre Jasmine in the number two. Um, I don't have the card anymore. I think I threw the card away. But um, yeah, I saw it on Glamourtress and I wanted to try it out. Um, so this wig comes with two combs in the front, a comb in the back, and adjustable straps. I feel like this uh, wig is on the, I think it's on the small side. Well, buying Altre wigs over the years, I've noticed that their caps are on the small side. So if you do have a smaller head, uh, this would probably be uh, more comfortable to you. And but I have a big head, so um, it's still not like too tight. It has a pretty good uh, comfort level for me, but. Everybody has a different head. On me, this falls about, I'm gonna say about 18 inches long and I'm six feet tall, so there's the front. Here is the left side. It's the right side. Here's all the hair to the back. The texture of this wig is silky. Um, it does have a luster to it, so I would definitely spray some dry shampoo on this wig or put some baby powder on it to uh, lessen the shine. Um, you get a lot of parting space here. You get a lot of parting space. And I just put some... Oh, I used my LA Colors I Love Contour Palette and I took one of the shades that was closest to my skin tone and um, I put it in the parting space. And I think it looks pretty good. This wig is laying very flat to my head because I have on a wig grip and I have been using the wig grip for about a week and a half now and so far it's been really good and the, this came with soft lace and it's laying flat. So, so far the wig grip is working out for me. Um, if you want a more detailed review on that, I can try to do that in a different video. Um, so, so far the style is very cute and everything like that. The density of it to me is on the thinner side. Now you won't feel, you might feel a little bit of thinness in the back, but overall it has more of a natural density to it, which is not too bad. Um, I will say a con for me is the top of the wig. This wig comes as a middle part. Of course, I think you can shift it to the right, but I'm just gonna show how it looks in as a middle part. Um, but it gets it's humpy up here, so you're gonna have to put some mousse or a hot tool up there to make it flatter to your head and not look so wiggy. Um, so that's probably my biggest con with this wig. So far, I've only got a few strands of hair with the shedding, but you know, not too much. It's a cute style. I just feel a way about how the top of the wig looks. On camera, it might not look that way, but when I look in the mirror, I do feel like it looks a little bit humpy at the top, which is not cool to me. So overall, I think it's pretty cute. It just has to be worked with a little bit. Um, I'm gonna try to shift it to the right side, how I would wear it and see what that looks like. Alright guys, so um, that's it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you are interested in this wig, head over to GlamourTress.com. Yeah, if you're interested in this wig, I'll leave a link in the description box to where you guys can purchase it. I want to thank you guys so much for supporting my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.